Okay, pretty exciting. 2015 Subaru. First oil change, not a real big deal compared to some of my other videos, but what the heck. First thing I recommend, you know, jack the car up. I put it under the A-arm. I got to get a pair of low-profile ramps. This uh, car has a spoiler here, like most do. And it's pretty low. I can't get my regular ramps, so I jack the car up under the A-arm and put a safety jack. Got to be safe. Uh, you know, you could probably go from the other side. This side seems to be okay. Uh, you know, the, the port, the drain bolts, pretty much centered in there, so I don't know if it would be better picking it up from the other side. About the same. You're going to get most of the oil out. But what I'd recommend to do first, anytime you're working with a factory, let's get the oil filter off first. Sometimes they're amazingly tight on there. So get the oil filter off first and uh, make sure you can loosen it up. How's that? Because uh, I've seen the first time you change oil on these things, any new car, uh, they're just on there real tight. So let me, this one's pretty good but it's not super tight okay so let me get under the car I'll uh, take that bolt out and drain the oil what fun okay here we're under the car and the bolts right up in here let me just take my wrench out right there so Right where you can get at it. You don't have to take this plastic pan off. No big deal. A lot of time these bolts are pretty tight too. Uh, this one not so much. I already loosened it up. It uh, basically jumped out of there. So loosen it up. Put your pan under there and voila. Let me get it going. Here's a drain plug. Uh, just keep an eye. You don't lose this little crush washer. You can see it right there. You want to reuse that. Maybe you should get a new one. I don't know. It looks like uh, I've seen copper ones before. This looks uh, pretty good. So I'm thinking you don't have to get a new one. Okay, let's put it back. And, uh, you know, the 17 millimeter wrench, and, uh, you know, just hand tight. You can put a torque wrench on it, but just pull on a little bit. Doesn't that be super tight, and uh, you're good to go. So let me put, uh, get up top, and we'll take the filter off, put a new filter on, and uh, fill her up with fluid. Now we took the filter off prior, just to be sure to clean this real good here. There's a little, uh, there's a little film on there, so. And don't knock anything in there. So a new filter. This is just sweet. The way they got these filters now. A lot of vehicles are doing this. So you just want to touch. And go another half turn, three quarter turn. It's not going anywhere. Hand tight. That way you put it on hand tight and get it off hand tight. So good to go. So we're going to put a... Five weight in here calls out five uh, five thirty. Let's look at the cap. Hey, uh, sorry, zero twenty. Duh, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Calls out zero twenty right there. So we got a bunch of zero twenty we're gonna put in there. Uh, pretty sure it's five quarts. So good to go. We'll check the dipstick right there. Make sure it's right. And uh, you just change your oil on your sub. So. These little two liter engines, they make these things sweet. Uh, you know, they got a nice, uh, they don't have the plastic uh, belt cover anymore. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. They got the water pump built into this thing, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, this looks like one nice engine, so it should easily uh, go 300,000 miles. Not that any other Subaru didn't go 300,000 miles, but it really looks well built. So, hope you enjoyed.